Hey guys. I have an eyelash in my eye and it's annoying me. Welcome to this week's vlog. So y'all, it's officially fall. Summer done packed up. She done put in her two weeks notice like four weeks ago. It's bittersweet for me right now. It's sweet because it's fall and I'm just excited for fall dates, fall food, fall fragrances, fall events. Like we like to go to like this haunted house. I love going to the pumpkin patch, although I'm not picking no pumpkins, but I love the photographs. I love taking pictures at pumpkin patches. Oh, and I do love the hay rides. We do love a corny little hay ride. Well, not we, not Bay. Like he'll do it, but that's really just me. I love doing cheesy stuff like that. Um, horseback riding. It's horseback riding season. Um, it's apple picking season. I love to make apple pies. I'll do that in a vlog one day for you guys. Like we'll go apple picking and then we'll come back home and I'll make an apple pie with ice cream. That's one of my favorite desserts ever. Y'all, apple pie and ice cream is everything. I can eat that like after dinner, before dinner, for lunch, like whenever. But yeah, so that's the sweet part about fall. And then of course the fashion, like honey, the fall fashion. The sweaters, the boots, the coats. The layers, the blazers, the scarves, the everything. But the bitter part is because I've been enjoying my life on the lake. And now that's over, obviously, because nobody's boating right now with the waves waving <laughs> like how they are. So it is what it is. But today's a gloomy, tight, dreary day. So I want to make some... Um, smothered chicken but not like fried and smothered in gravy i'm gonna make it more like chicken and gravy or like a stew chicken but not with jamaican flavors not stew chicken like if you're jamaican or west indian watching this video i'm not doing those flavors today i kind of want it more on the soul food side today so that's what we're gonna have and i'm also gonna do fried cabbage with some sausages and white rice but i'm on my way to get my nails done because my nails are chopped um yeah my nails are chopped on my way to get my nails done but one of my subbies she commented on one of my videos and was like i need to get some type of a bomb like a bomb oil like a cream oil something type situation from bath and body works but the scent is cinnamon and sandalwood. Y'all. The way I ran away from that comment. Went to Bath and Body Works website to see if it was at my local Bath and Body Works. Y'all would have thought she said they'd given away free money <laughs> at Bath and Body Works. Because the cinnamon and sandalwood is just sounding like I'm going to get my whole life with that. So I'm about to pick that up. And they have a vanilla and patchouli one. I don't know if y'all ever tried that. But first, like I said, I have to get my nails done. And then I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works. And then go to the grocery store last. So that's what we have going on today in this vlog. We're going to be doing a lot of cooking and a lot of eating. Do so you guys like have different fall dishes? Because for me, like I have dishes and especially drinks that I have, you know, for the summertime. Nothing too hot, nothing too heavy. But for the fall, it's all about comfort food. Fall and winter and the holiday season, it's just all about comfort food and just eating a whole bunch of stuff that you gotta really work hard to get it off of you. But it's worth it because it tastes good and it's just all about the fall vibes. So I'm gonna see y'all after the nail salon when I get my nails to look like a normal human being. So I'll see y'all later. nails are done i got this eggplant type of color it's very fall appropriate giving fall vibes but before i pull off i wanted to really 
explain to you guys the reason why I haven't been doing my 20k giveaway on YouTube and that's because of the whole hackers scammers whatever you want to call them taking your face and your name telling your subscribers that they've won a giveaway I don't want to have any giveaway nothing to do on my channel because I don't want anybody to get caught up and click that link and your information gets stolen or whatever is gonna happen happen you know what I mean so I'm doing my giveaways via Instagram so if you follow me on Instagram make sure to check out my Instagram story if you see my face like my profile picture if there's a red ring around it click it check out my stories and you know you'll get the information for the giveaway there because I just like I said I don't want anybody to get caught up on my YouTube channel with their information getting taken or anything like that and a couple of you told me that you almost got caught up like that on my page because a lot of people aren't like YouTube gurus like they don't use YouTube all the time they're new to YouTube so they're not gonna see that and say oh that's a bot or that's a scammer or whatever they might think oh AI is doing a giveaway or whatever the creator you know whomever the creator is is doing a giveaway so that is just too prevalent right now it's all over on everybody's channel so I'm doing it on Instagram but I'm announcing it on YouTube I'm announcing it both places YouTube and Instagram but I hope you guys understand that I'm not gonna do a YouTube giveaway because the scammers are scamming the hackers are hacking and I don't want any of you to get caught up on the count of me you know what I mean like because of me and especially if I'm saying I'm doing a giveaway because they on your page saying you won something in a giveaway even when you're not saying you're doing a giveaway so imagine me doing a giveaway child it will bring out the floodworks of the hackers so I'm not even trying to play them games and that's just what it is but hopefully in the future when YouTube gets it under control I'll be able to do a giveaway on YouTube for you know anybody who just doesn't have Instagram or if you don't know how to use Instagram or whatever so that's what it is y'all so I'm about to go to um, Bed Bath & Beyond to get that oil I think Melanie is the one that put me on to it so I can't wait to share with you guys my thoughts about it because it sounds amazing cinnamon and sandalwood come on y'all like that'll go with so many fragrances angel share dates delight just so many fall fragrances woody fragrances spicy fragrances i feel like it's gonna be such a vibe and i can smell it now and i'm excited and then we're gonna go to the grocery store because i do have to cook for the mister and um is that it yeah i think that's it so i'll see you guys in a little while let me tell you about this girl maybe i should I met her in Philly, and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing. When I'm kissing, what I'm missing, won't you listen? Brown Sugar, babe. I guess high off your love. I don't know how to be. Brown y'all so here they have the aromatherapy so this is the cozy one that I think um, Melanie I think that's her name one of my subbies was telling me about y'all it smells really good it's not really that strong as cinnamon but you definitely smell the sandalwood and the cinnamon is sprinkled in enough it smells really really good the consistency is kind of like waxy but once you rub it onto your skin it'll melt into your skin like an oil and then they have the vanilla and patchouli that smells really good but I have something that smells similar to it, so I'm not going to get it. But if you like the scent of vanilla and patchouli, that's a good one to get. So I got my oil and a couple of other things. I'll show y'all when I get home.
All right, y'all, so I just got home. I'm about to take a shower and just take it down, relax a little something before I start cooking. But before I do that, I want to share with you guys what I got from Bath & Body Works. So here's the cinnamon and sandalwood body oil melt. It's called Cozy. Cozy, like Beyonce said, okay. <laughs> so it's a nice consistency like i said it's like waxy and it melts into an oil onto your skin i've never tried anything like this before but i do love the scent i love the scent so much that i also got the body cream and y'all i'm about to be sandalwood out this fall and winter because skin potion sent me their royal sandalwood radiance body cream so you're gonna have a nice silky looking glow your skin is gonna feel really soft looking really shiny and you're gonna smell like a beautiful creamy sandalwood so this right here <laughs> y'all it's the sandalwood for me okay it is a sandalwood for me so from ulta i got this <laughs> So do you guys remember when I purchased the Hemp's Pumpkin Spice Vanilla Chai Body Cream, like the really big one? I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a small one right here. So I decided to return it because I didn't need that big cream of pumpkin spice because, I mean, how often am I going to wear pumpkin spice? So I saw this, and they also had the apple cinnamon shortbread. I'm about to open it so you guys can see. Hold on. So this scent right here, apple cinnamon shortbread, y'all, this smells so good. Like literally, listen, this is fall. Like <laughs> this is fall in a bottle, okay? This smells so good. And I'm glad that it's just the small sizes because honestly, this is for when I'm in a fall mood or I'm just feeling really festive and I just wanna, you know, smell like pumpkin spice or apple cinnamon shortbread. <laughs> and it also came in this cup right here, which I think is really cool. And this cost, this was $11. Like it wasn't even expensive. So I'm glad I exchanged it and got these two. So also from Bath and Body Works, I got this scent right here. This is called Fall and Bloom. So the notes are Juicy Plum, Wild Blooms, and Velvet Moss. It smells really pretty, really fruity, really juicy, nice and festive, but not like gourmand. It just smells like a fresh, crisp, fall day and i love it but y'all this right here is the real mvp <laughs> so this is midnight amber glow y'all this smells so good as you can see i got the fragrance a little travel spray i got the body cream i got the moisturizing body wash you guys know i love this because it is very moisturizing and it smells amazing. Like the scent is really potent. I just love this consistency of body washes from Bath and Body Works. And I also got the spray. So I ended up getting two sprays because it was cheaper. Like it was buy one, get, no, buy three, get one free or something like that. So I just paid um, for these and that one was free. So I'm like, well, if I'm gonna get something free, I'm gonna get this scent right here because this smells amazing. Let me tell you the notes. So this one has smooth amber, caramel latte and vanilla bourbon y'all for all y'all gourmand lovers run hello can y'all hear me run do not walk this smells so good and they have like a, a little um travel spray like it's like half the size of this it's so cute i thought about getting it but i'm like you know what girl just sit down somewhere get these and just keep it pushing but it smells so good i'm tempted to go back and get more <laughs> because i'm just afraid that they're going to discontinue it next season this is amazing like you know how bath and body works has those gourmand scents that smell so literal like there's a pancake um syrup waffle cone and like any food that you can think of like the scents smell so literal and i'm not into them i do love strawberry pound cake like that is a very gourmand literal scent but i love that one and i put that on my body like i love how that smells especially with burberry herb so this one right here y'all i'm telling you if you love caramel if you love um vanilla gourmand scents you need this like i said it's amber caramel and vanilla and it's amazing it smells so good so this is what i picked up y'all and now i'm about to take a shower and i'm going to use this i think i'm going to um spray what am i going to put on tonight maybe I was thinking about Initio. I may do side effects. No, I don't want to do side effects. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on. Oh, I meant to tell y'all. So my sense of the day, let me go get it. Hold on. So my sense of the day was BDK Passe Soir. And I got a compliment in the supermarket. So let me tell you about this compliment. 
a man, a gentleman came up to me and he said, you smell so romantic. What are you wearing? At first I looked at him like he had three heads. Like, um, excuse me, I smell romantic. Like what, like, what are you trying to, I was confused, but I saw in his eyes, like he looked very sincere and he was like, it's his wife's birthday or his wife's birthday is coming up and she's into fragrances and he really loved how I smelled and you know, he wants to get it for his wife. So of course I gave him my discount code and I um, showed him to soavantgarde.com. <laughs> but y'all, this is what I had on and he said it smelled romantic. I'm like, okay, romantic. Y'all see my dent. I love this fragrance. This is so good. It's so good. This is actually an all year round type of scent, but I feel like for fall, it's just perfect because it gives fall vibes, but you can definitely wear this in the spring, summer, because honestly, like I wear this all year round. If you're looking for a signature scent, this is a perfect signature scent as well. And I'm still smelling it on me, okay? It lasted on me all day. I've been out all day. Um, it's still smelling good on me. I love how this smells. And I mean, he said it smells romantic, honey. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, that's his description. Everybody doesn't know how to describe fragrances, so whatever. So that was my scent of the day. And if you guys are interested, you can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, the great 20 and get you some passe soir. So I'm about to jump in the shower, y'all. I see y'all in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm down in the kitchen now. It's time to cook. I have my chicken here. It's been cleaned in vinegar water salt lemon lime everything okay i thoroughly clean my chicken and i have it seasoned i've been seasoning this chicken for about two hours now um i seasoned it with smoked paprika cayenne pepper celery salt onion powder garlic powder and some black pepper i didn't put any salt in it because there's already salt in the celery salt and you guys know i'm always telling you to be sure to watch your salt intake so what I'm about to do is put this chicken in the pan. I'm gonna sear it and then I'm gonna remove it and we're gonna make our little sauce and everything. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the celery. Um, I have celeries and um, some celery and some green peppers and onions that I'm gonna make with the, um, not the sauce, the gravy. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, so I have some vegetable oil in the pot getting hot. I forgot to mention to you guys that because we're not frying the chicken, there's no need for any flour. We're just searing it just to get a nice color and get some nice flavor out of the chicken. So once it's hot, once the oil is hot and I sear it, I'm gonna come back with you. All right guys, so here's our chicken. It looks done, right? It's not done at all, but it has a nice golden brown color, nice and seared on all sides. So I have some veggies here for our gravy. And I'm gonna have my sous chef, which is Bay. I'm gonna ask him if he can cut these up because I don't feel like cutting these up because I have to wash out the pot and I need to clean up the kitchen a little bit. So we'll see if he's gonna help me. All right, y'all, so we have our sous chef, AKA Bay. He's about to chop up the uh, veggies. Don Malik oh, Young. God. That's Don Malik Young. <laughs> yeah, and it's like if I don't want to sit here and and cut this up, I ain't gonna eat. That's, I didn't say that, but I mean, it would be nice if you helped, cause yeah. you was over there yeah. having Why, Yeah, dinner. watching the football game, enjoying life. They don't cut as your fingers. I I'm chef. Oh, now you chef? Chef. Chef Boy all beans. you don't remember? <laughs> huh? Y'all see me in my Why last video, right? Why you trying to cut off right? guys? Cause you know you won't even cut like that. You ain't uh, about that life. Uh, no, I'm not. That's why I should be over there sitting down and watch football. How about that? For a person who don't like my skills, you always got me coming over here helping out. What's that? I'm just saying, like, I don't want you huh? to cut your finger. And also, uh, I don't want you to act like you you Emerald Lagasse out this thing. Nah, no, nah, I'm none of that. Don Malik Young, Chef Boy all Beans. I would cut that one in half and then... What? I'm saying I would cut it in the yeah, middle. Then why am I over here? Okay. So, you know, I'm coming to help out. You had a hard day's work. Thank you. Uh -huh. yeah. you know, sometimes you gotta just come over, help her out, put a little love in the mail. Exactly. Put a little love in the mail. Exactly. Because if not, I don't know how this mail might turn out. Oh, it's gonna turn out good regardless. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's not get it know. twisted. I don't know. 
Yeah, you could have you could have did both of them together. Yeah, I could have. I told you, you be doing a lot of directing. A lot of directing. It's my movie. Let me try to get Pete. Not Nathan. Shh. You gonna get this meal. Wow. You just start cutting up the onion. Cause remember you gotta cut all this up too, babe. Gotta cut all this up. Right. Hey, that's that's good enough. You ain't gotta cut that anymore. Oh, see, I don't know how you want it done. No, that's a good size. That's a good size. All right, cool. How you want these? Minced. But you gotta move some of the celery, just to, like right by the garlic. Are you separating these? Yeah, I'm not putting the garlic in at the same oh, okay. time with the veggie because the garlic will burn. Okay. Y'all hear that? When you're putting your vegetables in, you can put the celery, the onions, and the pepper all in the same time, all at the same time, but the garlic goes in last because the garlic will burn. You don't want burnt garlic. Mm. Chef. Hey, let's see. This, this is your... Uh... But that's Chef 101, though. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, it depends. It depends on what? It depends. See, you could put all this together if you add a little water to it. See, I don't know what you're cooking, and I don't know what you're doing. But I do know a little sun. Just a little sun. Well, I wouldn't be adding water to the veggies, but I mean, whatever to each his own. We just mm -hmm. saying, it ain't no competition, boo. Low, see, you helping me out. Low, you helping yeah, me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Nice it could have been low, low, low water, low olive oil, you know, sprinkle that in so nothing would you burn. Be I don't know what I would be making. <laughs> I don't well, know. Unless I was freestyling, you know. And making a one off. A one off? What's a one off? That's what you said. A the, one on? A one on. A oh. one on. Uh, all right, we're going to leave that one We're going to leave that one alone. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, we're going to leave that one alone. But anywho. In T way. Yeah, so, you know. Oh, mint. Garlic, as you call it. I don't know how mint you want it, cause you ain't saying nothing. So I well, guess I'm, I'm just watching. It's supposed to keep cutting. Yeah. yeah. It don't. They don't look that mint to me. Yeah. See. And then see, you got, it, babe, uh, you got garlic on the back of the knife. See, see. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do it. You know how the chefs be like this. Yeah, and, and then, then you run like, the knife. Yeah, that's how you do it. Do that. But why you gotta make the sound? What's the sound effect? I, 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 I,
Watch out, man. You know I'm deadly. Oh, with Lord. the weapons. <laughs> So you want a dice? Yes, babe. That's a little bit too small. It's not an onion. That's that's a cool size. Don't don't make it any smaller than this. No smaller than that. Yeah. I need them to be around the same size as the celery. Y'all, I could have been did this and had oh, in a pot man. already. See, yeah, you could have been. You, but I'm trying, to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to have some content for the uh, vlog. So I'm like, yeah. babe. I think it would be cool if you uh, cut the veggies, but child. I keep, I keep coming over here messing with you and your little, you and your subscribers on your little YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Why gotta be little? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Y'all, what y'all better do, what y'all need to do is hit that like button and subscribe. That's what y'all need to do. Period. Got me all up in this kitchen. Period. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm almost done. And I'm about to quit. You ain't almost done because you got a whole this, onion right here. This, bro. this job don't pay. You got a whole onion. It pays because you're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to laugh at all. <laughs> 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 what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> no. Huh? The funny thing is, y'all, he be like on camera, he be so quick to say, because I ain't never going to go hungry because I know how to cook. He be saying that a lot. And then he be the first one to be like, babe, what we eating? That's right. Babe, what you cooking? That, babe, what we right. eating? That's right. No, bro. I thought mm -hmm. you. I thought you ain't gonna go hungry. Mm -hmm. I can't tell. Listen, I love my baby. She gives me yeah. eats. She gives me sleep. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> when I'm in the kitchen, he is the sweetest, most nicest person. He starts smelling that food. Like I'm, I'm in the kitchen, right? He watching TV. He be minding his business. When he starts smelling that food, yeah. he come kiss me. Oh, babe, I love you. Yeah. Babe, like yeah. I'm so beautiful. I'm the best yeah. person in the world. When he starts smelling yeah. that food. Yeah. How long for supper? Y'all, yeah. uh -huh. and be the main one, the first one. I ain't gonna go hungry because I know how to cook. Uh -huh. yeah. So, babe, you should move this up so you have room on the table. Uh -huh. Listen, listen. I ain't signed up for this. Listen, you ain't have to sign up. You you were automatically um nominated for this job. Uh -huh. Now let me see if you know how to, cause you know how to cook. If you know how to peel an onion, you know how to peel an onion, you know how to cook. I know how to peel an onion. Yeah, it. It's over. But first of all, let me see if you cut it right. See? Let me start, let me show y'all something. Uh, you see that part right there? That's a rookie move right there, boo. You know why? Because this is what, what? that's a rookie move in, in peel an onion. What? Let me show, let me tell you why. Let me school y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. This piece right here, y'all, yeah. this holds a whole onion together. So what I do, I cut off the uh -huh. top. Here we go with what I do I, again. Well, okay, what, yeah, what, me yeah. and, what me and the five star chef uh -huh. do, what we do, we, we cut here off the we top. Go again. And we leave that, we leave this piece right uh -huh. here. Y'all leave that piece. And then you're able to cut the onion, you know, this way and that way. And this holds the onion. This is the glue that holds it all together. Now watch how this onion fall apart. Go ahead, Oh, yeah. Teach you something. <laughs> but Daddy, you make it, you make it no, harder. No, no, no. Why am I making it harder? Why am I making it harder? Because it's all about to, all about to, all about to. Do it look like, do it look like it's falling apart. apart? You ain't, wait till you start cutting it. It's going to come apart. You making it harder for yourself. Oh, yeah? Look at it. It's coming apart. <laughs> I'm trying to save myself, y'all. I'm trying to save myself. <laughs> See, this is what, this is what yeah. happens when you yeah. want to take directions. Yeah, 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 yeah mom. It look, look good to me. Look good to me. How about you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know how, how result, small you want this. How you want that's this? That's a good size. The end result is going to be a yeah. nice chopped onion, but yeah. you making your life hard. Like, yeah. it's all about a soft life right now. We ain't, we ain't trying to do the hard life. You yeah. got to, anything that's going to make your life a little softer, yeah. honey. My, my, my life is hard. <laughs> my life is hard. Yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah. Yeah, summer's over. Summer's over. Summer's over. Back to a hard life. Back to a hard life. Time to grind. Time to grind again. Babe, there's a, uh, a, what's this? Hey. I didn't want you to cut it up. I didn't want you to choke on it when we, when we start eating. I got the FDA in the kitchen with me. <laughs> Not cooking. the FDA. Oh, the man. FDA. <laughs> Border health in. Border Jeez. control. Yeah. Yeah, Man. all that. Can we just eat? That's all we can. The CDC, do. I'm all that, all that, all that. 
the health department, because your fingers is mighty close to that knife, bro. I, I plays with these. I know I'm not. Babe. What? Jackie King. Just watch them karate flicks back in the day. Not used to. You still do. Why yeah. are you fronting? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Why are you fronting for the people? You still That's watch right. karate movies. That's right. Don't um, be knowing what they talking about. Mouth be no. moving. He no. be like... All, all in. All, all in. All, all in. All in. I just be looking at him shaking my head all like, why? In. Yeah. You don't remember them, uh... Babe, you could have... You know how you could have saved this? You could have turned this on the back side and sliced it like that and then went over like that. But let's see. Let's see your way. Like but this. But no, because now you got it on a wedge. Like that? Like that? It's not flat anymore. That's how you should have done oh, it. Man. But now it's a wedge, so... It, it, it was going just fine. It, it was going just No, because it, it's taking like... It was, 45 it was, minutes it was just to chop the onion. It was going just fine. That's because I'm sitting here talking to you. That's because you're talking to me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, have a, we have an intimate conversation. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> what we talk, really? What we talking about? Yeah, we, we, we talking about love right now. We talking about love? Yeah, because when you cook this food, I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> and then after, after you ate already, yeah, you yeah. back to... Yeah, get from around get here. Get from around here. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, my stomach can't. is full. Thank you. It's all good, because remember, you're going to get hungry the next day after that. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> remember that. Y'all hear this? Y'all my witness. Y'all hear this, right? Uh, uh, y'all no witnesses. I got witnesses. Mm. They don't tell. Y'all, this is the most yeah, hard-working <laughs> onion <laughs> bay. You need you you got to get paid after this one right here. Yeah, cause. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I need some. Okay, calm down. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. Yeah, yeah. Child, I'm gonna cut this onion up. Yeah, in I, I'd have been finished. Twenty too, if seconds. You were messing with me. First of all, you started off wrong. You started no, it wrong. No, I started off not your way. All right, man. This this onion is done. It ain't done because look, you got like fan sizes on the other side. Like, look at yeah. this. Take like a hole. We good. We good. We good. It just looked like that. On the other side, babe. On the other side. Put them all together. Put it all together in a bunch and then run your knife over it. I, I, I know. You're trying to sabotage me. I know what this is. You're trying to sabotage no sabotage. Me. You're trying to sabotage. Because I showed up and I showed out. You showed up. I showed up and I showed out on the last video. You showed yeah. up and showed yeah, out. Yeah, I showed up and showed out. You know what I mean? Now you're trying to sabotage me with an <laughs> onion. <laughs> you're trying to sabotage me with an onion. And, 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 and you're trying to put the onion in my face like I'm crying right now. You're trying to make me cry. Yeah, you think you're slick. You think you're slick, yeah. yeah. Really yeah. Good, but yeah, I mean, yeah, babe, yeah. there's no competition. Listen, listen, listen. Honey, there's no competition, babe. Clean that side of the knife. Listen. Babe. If 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 y'all if y'all tried my ribs. The other side too. Babe, you know those little things like oof. Yeah, it's, it's irking you. Yes. Yeah. But you that's that's what I'm saying. You're not the cook, you're not the chef right now. I am the chef, you're the sous chef. Yeah, well well, well start chefing. Chef it up. My job is done. So we got the onions, the green peppers, the celery. And the garlic. So I'm about to put it in a pot. All right, y'all, so we have our veggies in the pot, the onions, green peppers, and uh, celery. So once this gets nice and translucent in color, I'm gonna let it saute for about 10 minutes or maybe like seven minutes or so. And then I'm gonna add the garlic and then I'll be back with you guys. All right, y'all, so I just added some flour. I'm just cooking off that raw flour taste right now. Just for like another minute or so. 
but I'm putting this in there so it can make the sauce nice and thick and rich and creamy. Nice thick sauce. And I just sauteed the vegetables with um, some olive oil and unsalted butter. But I did season the vegetables off camera. Salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. All right, so now I'm gonna add some chicken broth. I'm just gonna use some Swanson chicken broth. Obviously it's not sponsored, but this is my favorite brand of chicken broth. And then I'll be back with you guys. All right, y'all, so I put the chicken back in the pot. I'm gonna let this continue to cook for about one and a half to two hours covered. And then I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, guys, it's all done. I'm starving as per usual. I'm gonna make the plate and be right back with you. She did that. She did that. <laughs> 